Developing news, a fifth person has just died in a terror attack on a Jerusalem synagogue. Three of the victims are American. KPIX 5's Veronica De La Cruz is in the newsroom where Israel's prime minister is already vowing payback. Veronica? And Liz, like you were just saying, we've just learned a fifth victim, an Israeli police officer, died of injuries in the rampage. The attack carried out by Palestinians is the deadliest in Jerusalem in years. Israel's prime minister called it a cruel murder of Jews. Thousands of people attended funerals for three American rabbis. They were killed along with a British man. All had dual Israeli citizenship. Police say two Palestinian cousins burst into the synagogue this morning with a pistol and a meat cleaver. We heard gunshots from downstairs. Um, you know, we heard one shot, two shots, and then, a, then a flurry of shots. Israeli police killed the suspects in a shootout. Palestinian militant group Hamas praised the attack but did not claim responsibility. President Obama called for calm on both sides. This is a tragedy for both nations, uh, Israel as well as the United States, and our hearts uh, go out to the families. Israel's prime minister has called for the attackers' homes to be destroyed. He also ordered the demolition of homes of other Palestinians involved in recent deadly attacks. Even Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas condemned the rampage. It is the first time he's done that since the recent spike in deadly attacks on Israelis by Palestinians. Alan, I'll send it back to you. Okay, thanks so much. Well, you can definitely